Hi there, my name is Nikolai Kervoden and I organize book talks for the Manassas Museum. It's an awesome job because I get paid in part to read a lot of good books about local history. Normally we would have a monthly historical book talk where a local author would come to the museum, lecture in our gallery, answer questions, and sign books for our patrons. Obviously we can't do that at the moment. A lot of us are at home and I'm sure for many of us digging into a good book might be a welcome escape right about now. We can't do it at the museum, so we're going to have to do it at home. Now, I've read a lot of good history books working for the museum, and I wanted to talk about one in particular that we hosted back in December, for those of you that might have missed it, because I think you're going to really enjoy reading this. It's called Spy Pilot. It's by Francis Gary Powers Jr., who was the gentleman kind enough to give us a book talk on this as well as Keith Donovan. Now there is a foreword in here as well you'll find quite interesting. It's by Sergei Khrushchev, who is Nikita Khrushchev's son, the former Soviet premier. It's a remarkable book for a number of reasons. It's about Francis Gary Powers Sr. in this case, who was the U-2 spy plane pilot that we all learned about in school. He was shot down over the Soviet Union in 1960. He was subsequently taken prisoner in the USSR and this is a really rare glimpse into the personal life of the family since Francis Gary Powers Jr., one of the authors, is his son. He covers the controversies that unfairly surrounded his father and gives you a rare glimpse at the more human side of the characters involved rather than a pure recitation of facts. Although, although, if you're looking for historical detail and analysis, you've got it in this book. It's just that it reads like a more riveting novel. It was written clearly by people who are talented with the English language. For that reason, it's one of the more informative and digestible books I've read recently. And if you're interested in the Cold War at all, I highly recommend picking this one up. If you're interested in Virginian history, I also highly recommend picking this one up. And it's really interesting reading the personal perspe perspectives of Francis Gary Powers Jr. and Sergei Khrushchev as well on the context surrounding this historical incident. It gets into details surrounding Francis Gary Powers' imprisonment, and we read a lot about his cellmate, a suspected Soviet informant. You'll have to read the book to find out whether those suspicions were correct or not. And we hear about the personal relationship they developed. There's a lot of family letters and photos in this book, letters that were passed between members of the family into the Soviet prison through the Soviet authorities. So if you're interested in the history of espionage, as well as a more personal perspective of the characters involved, this is a must read. I hope in general, everyone out there is staying healthy and safe. And one day we're gonna resume our scheduled book talks. For now, stay healthy. In college, I came out of my I was curious, wanted to find out more about my father, and I started to do this research. When I started to do this research, I wanted to find out more about my dad, the U2 incident, the U2 program, the controversy that surrounded my father. Um, and I started my research not to vindicate, not to honor, uh, not to create a Cold War museum or to honor Cold War veterans or anything like that. I started my research for one simple uh, fact. I wanted to find out the truth of what took place so I knew how to answer questions. So I started to do this research in college. First, go into the library, I looked at the Dewey Decimal System, for those of us uh, who are old enough to remember that, um, and I find out that my father is on the cover of Time Magazine in May of 1960. I never knew that before. I was in college when I found that out. 